Hi, everyone. We want to start with some warm-up questions. Uh, so first of all, who of you writes tests to your code? Hands up, please. Yeah, really nice. And who of you writes tests in Kotlin already? Also nice. And who of you was on Dennis' presentation the session before? OK, we see that you are really interested in writing tests in Kotlin. So here we are. I'm Paulina. I'm Greg. We are from Inti from Poland. And Intif is a software house that is uh, based in Europe. Uh, we've got many uh, offices in many locations in Poland, but also in um, Germany. We're in Berlin, Munich, and Regensburg. And uh, in our work, we um, develop many different projects. It were um, instant messengers, also automotive apps, and VOD players. OK, so today, agenda will start from spec framework, and we'll try to compare it a little bit with Kotlin test. After that, a word about expect library and small movie bonus. So Kotlin test is actually not a, a library, but it's a testing tool. It provides own assertion, but uh, also we can use uh, different assertions library, like Cluent or uh, others, and it works very well with Android products. On the other hand, we've got SPEC, which is a specification framework that is called by, uh, by its creators. Uh, and it's implemented as the unit uh, test uh, engine fully in Kotlin, um, dedicated to JVM. You can test Java code, also Kotlin code. Um, and it is developed by people who work for JetBrains, but also by some externals. Uh, but it's not uh, officially supported by JetBrains yet. Uh, so you may ask why you should use specification frameworks. What does it give us? Um, so uh, both uh, frameworks we are talking about m m allows you to use BDD structure, so given when done, but it's not necessary. Uh, other than that, we achieve uh, readability in our tests. Uh, you can use normal sentences, normal English sentences, instead of uh, reading underscored, chained um, test names. It is definitely more descriptive, uh, because with each nested block, uh, we are precising better our test cases. This is also easier to follow, um, because uh, tests can be grouped. On um, the other advantage is that uh, the specification is executable. So you can run it. You can check if a code m matches specification. And uh, this is a live thing. So it develops along with the project and product. OK, so probably a lot of you see uh, have similar tests in uh, Java in your projects. And it's, in my opinion, a little bit ugly and unreadable. So today, we'll try to show you a different way how you can improve readability uh, of your tests. OK, installation at the beginning. So in Kotlin test, is very straightforward. You have actually on, add only one line to your Gradle files, and everything should work fine. And I will talk today about Kotlin test, but not about JetBrains Kotlin test, because JetBrains provides as a standard assertion library, and it's a different thing. Yeah, and in SPAC, if you want to use it for your Kotlin project, uh, you need two upper dependencies. The third one is just additional to use experimental features. Um, you probably ask us how about Android projects. So for Kotlin tests, it's easy. But uh, I had some problems configuring SPAC uh, for Android. Uh, it's because it is mentioned uh, in um, manual of SPAC that we should use um, Jack toolchain, but with uh, Android Studio 3.0, which is already in preview available, uh, Jack toolchain is deprecated. Uh, and uh, after spending many hours uh, finding the right configuration and uh, right version between JUnit and SPEC, I did it and I succeeded. <laughs> Kotlin test provide us seven uh, styles for, for our test. Today I will talk a little bit about uh, three of them. It will be string spec, feature spec, and behavior spec. 
And in SPEC, we got um, one base class. It is called SPEC. Uh, it mm, covers most of the styles that are in Kotlin test. And there are two more um, classes that are experimental feature, and I will also describe them. For start, something very easy. It will be a hello world test. So in Kotlin test, we have to extend one of uh, these styles class. In that case, it's string spec. Uh, and we, uh, as a par parameter, we have to pass a lambda with our tests. Or we can do it also in init block. And uh, how we're writing tests, we're just creating a string at its uh, test name um, and test description at the same time. And inside brochures, we uh, adding our test. So there is no uh, function, and that's, that's very clear. Yeah, and in spec, there is just one option. We need to pass lambda in a, a constructor parameter, um, but we don't need to create a class. Uh, it can be just an object extending spec. Um, you can see here, uh, as a simplest example, uh, a block it, which is just a function, uh, and um, that would be uh, executed as a single test. So this is the smallest example of test in spec. And for the next slides, I want to give you some context. So uh, the, our examples are like on something uh, live. And we've chosen a simple guessing game. It is called Hangman. Uh, it is a game for two or more players. One player thinks of a word. It's, let's call it a password. So password link is known via dashes or underscores uh, that are on the board. And the rest of players tries to guess the password, suggesting letter one by one. And with uh, every wrong answer, player one draws a uh, next body part uh, of a hangman. And when the drawing is completed, that means the rest of players uh, failed. Um, they can also guess a password and thus win a game. Uh, and we assume that at maximum there are nine wrong um, answers possible. Uh, next, uh, Kotlin test styles is a feature spec. Uh, so again, we have to extend feature spec class in, in that case. At the top of the Lambda, I creating new game object with microwave password. And as a uh, name call us, we will test feature here. So our feature will be letter verification. And inside feature block, we can add our scenarios. So it will be correct letter suggested or wrong letter suggested. Okay. And how will we describe a feature using spec? So again, we ex uh, extend <coughs> spec class, create our tested object. Then we call describe function, again, with description as a string. And inside, we put uh, our test. That means it blocks. Um, so instead, like in Kotlin test, there was feature scenario. We've got describe it structure. Next style is a behavior spec. It's uh, BDD uh, structure oriented uh, test style. And again, we have to extend behavior spec class. We're creating a password and uh, BDD structure based on given when then block. So we have given when then function here. So in, in given function, we can add our, our uh, description and in Kotlin, we can add uh, string uh, password uh, like that. OK, so in given block, we're creating a new game. When game is created, then zero has zero wrong answers, yeah? And when we'll, uh, again, one more done block. And when we'll run it, we have very nice and very readable output. OK, and describing a behavior using spec. So to keep the long story short, it is uh, the same as the, on the previous slide. So instead of given when then, we've got given on its structure. And the rest is exactly the same. But there is another option uh, in, uh, in spec. Uh, we can use subject spec. And um, so what's so special about that? Uh, we, we've got subject block in which we define how the, our tested object would be uh, initialized uh, and constructed. Um, and for each um, test, a new instance of uh, our um, tested object would be created. 
So let's see a full example. Uh, here are two tests, and each of each block uh, will receive a new instance of uh, our game. And we refer to this instance, uh, instance using a field subject. Um, yeah. And if we run it, then we've got some uh, nice uh, results. And let's say we want to extend our simple game. Uh, for example, adding some fancy UI to it, or maybe adding some zombies. So um, we've got zombie hangman class, which extends our game. Um, and this time, we use shared subject. Uh, the, mm, the most important part is using it behaves like. Uh, it's, it's the function uh, to which we pass our uh, base specification. So it is the subject game test from the previous slide. Um, but this time, tested object would be um, subject from this class, which is zombie hangman uh, instance. Um, so two tests from the, sub, uh, from the subject game tests uh, would be run for zombie hangman. And we've got one uh, additional uh, thing to check. It's that after maximum wrong answers reached, we should display a scary image. And if we run it, oh, I mean, sorry, if we run the test, uh, then we've got some nice results again. Uh, not only the zombie hangman uh, test, but also the, uh, the other from the subject game test class. But a um, few more words about scopes in spec framework. Uh, you already know given and describe, but there are also two others, like group and context. What's so special about them? You can exchange them. Uh, so um, you can use any word um, that you like. And you can also nest them uh, how many times you like. Uh, but um, we've got uh, also a scope uh, on. Which, is, uh, which should contain an action, and uh, the only um, nested block uh, within on can be it block, so the actual test. And there is also nice uh, sugar from spec framework that we can use X prefix to uh, exclude a spe single, uh, single scope. Um, but there is a spec plugin to Android Studio or IntelliJ. And uh, it allows us to um, run single scope. At the beginning, I show you this ugly Java test name. And I will uh, show you how we can improve it a little bit. So I will use behavior spec for that. We will put into given when then block. So in given, we have some, uh, some player manager, for example. Uh, I broke this each underscore part to to string, so it's a little bit more readable. Unfortunately, in a Kotlin test, we cannot put a block inside the same block. So we cannot put when inside when. There's a limitation. But you can, uh, we can handle it in that way. And we have two, two checks. So should watch now and should adjust listener. So. And we can run it. And we have a very nice result again. And it can be very helpful when you have, for example, a new team member, and uh, you, you don't have to uh, uh, tell about uh, class responsibility because he can just run tests and have uh, documentation here. Let's go to quick pros and cons about these two libraries. In Kotlin, tests, uh, from my point of view, are very like one line setup comparing to Nightmare in spec framework. Uh, no need to create functions, uh, no annotations, and Kotlin test provides us a lot of test styles. Okay. From uh, negatives, I, uh, there is no possibility to put, for example, one inside one. There's a limit and no to possibility to run only one test case. We have to run whole class at one. OK, from spec framework, I really like that we can nest the scopes and use any assertion library we want. It could be Hamcrest, it could be Kotlin test, or expect the one that we will talk in a second. And so with the plugin, we can run a single scope. And yeah, as I mentioned, configuration was a nightmare, but uh, you don't have to do it, uh, as I already done it. And it's available in our repository. 
Uh, okay, a word about expect. So it's a session library. It's very nice alternative for Cluent. Then I show how Clu Cluent works. But if you don't like spaces, you like dots, like in Java, it's it's a very nice alternative. Mm -hmm. And there are many functions and properties in uh, expect that you can use. Uh, some of them you can see on the on the right on the slide. And uh, three uh, in, the, in the last line to be which are a bit specific because they do not have any meaning. And uh, there are here only to chain uh, the words so that uh, r you can read it as a normal English sentence. And uh, to construct an assertion, there are two options. First uh, is that you uh, use a shoot property. You call it on an object. It can be even a null. Or you can pass your value into uh, expect function. But let's see some examples. OK, three examples for our Hangman game. Uh, the top one uh, have regex. It's very nice if you, if you want to check your strings, for example, some URL builders or, or so. And we can rate this test like a normal English sentence. So dash, dash password should match some regex. Next one, check, checking our range for wrong answers. And uh, we can. Uh, add more than one test in, in one line, so we can chain our tests. And again, we can uh, just read it. Wrong answers should be at least zero and at most nine. The last one using uh, expect function, and we can read it also expect wrong answers to equal zero. So it's very nice library. OK, we promise you a small bonus. Uh, as probably a lot of you know, uh, Kotlin names comes from island near Petersburg, but in Poland it's also a ketchup brand. So <laughs> I will show you how you can write unit test in using Kotlin in two single steps. Let's watch it. Oh, oh something wrong got... with audio. Can we have an audio <laughs> first? Okay, try let's start try again. again. I'm going to show you how to write unit tests using Kotlin. In two simple steps. First, take Kotlin and then write unit tests. Thanks a lot. Uh, any questions from the crowd? No. Yeah, please come to the microphone, please. Can you have uh, multiple when statements? Like, yeah, you can in put one block. Yeah, you can uh, put multiple when, but not when inside when. But in a given block, yes, you can do that. Cool, thanks. Anyone else? Anyone else? Any more questions? Okay. okay, so thank you. Thank you. You have contact for us. We will very appreciate it.